Hey everybody, BR Tidwell 55 here. If you're like me, chances are you rummage around in your attic in the back of an old closet or something, you're going to find one of these laying around. Or maybe a whole lot of these. Now, I know nobody uses floppy disks anymore. There's, you know, with flash drives and SD cards and everything else, there's just not a whole lot of need for them. But you might have, I I have a friend of mine who had a bunch of old family photos from an early digital camera, had boxes of these uh, of floppies laying around with, with those on, uh, with old digital photos. Sometimes, you know, I mean, you might have old college papers or something on one of these, maybe old work files or something that might be important. Maybe an early copy of a resume or something. In any case, it's a bad idea to just leave those in a box. Uh, sitting on top of each other because they're magnetic media and over time you store magnetic media next to each other after a while it's going to degrade you know the the magnetic even though it's a weak magnetic field they have magnetic fields that interact with each other degrades the data so you might want a simple way to archive those disks and that's what I'm going to show you. Uh, this is assuming you have some flavor of Linux and uh, I'm using terminal commands so just uh, to do this so just about any uh, any flavor of Linux this should work. So I'll go ahead and I'll uh, I'll mount up my I'll go ahead and I have an external USB uh, floppy disk drive which is what I'm using here and let's let me make sure that 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 it's mounted and it is okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the terminal and the first thing I want to do is is I want to verify the address basically where this where the system is reading has uh, the disk itself mounted and I'm using the L the LS BLK command and what that does is that shows you every partition every volume that is currently on your system and just let me scroll through here uh, let's see SDA, that would be the physical hard drive on my computer. SDA1 is the first partition on that. Uh, I know that's a, that's a Windows recovery partition. Uh, SDA2 is the main Windows 7 partition. SDA3, not sure what that is. That may just be empty. SDA4, I believe that's a Linux swap partition. SDA5, 29 gigs. I think that's where the actual recovery for the Windows is. SDA6 is my working Linux partition. Uh, and SDA7, it's listed as swap. SDB, okay. 14.6 gigs. I know that can't be the floppy disk. Uh, that's the SD card that I have in here. And SDB1 would be the yeah, that's the main, that's that's the partition on the card. SDC, 1.4 megs. That sounds like a floppy disk to me. And these other two, SDD, that's, I've got a, I've got my phone plugged into my computer charging right now. That's what that is. Okay, so, I know my address for my floppy disk is SDC. I want to remember that for the next command I'm going to put in. And here it is. I'm using the DD command and you have to run it with administrator privileges or at least in my version of Linux you have to run this command as an administrator. So you type in sudo DD is the command IF for interface equals and I know it's mounted at slash dev slash now FD0 is if you look this up on the internet that's going to be the basic command they give you FD0 is probably what uh, 
a Linux machine would give a physical like a like an ATA floppy hard drive that's permanently mounted in the machine but I already know that this is a USB floppy drive and I've already identified it as being at dev SDC so I'm going to change that so we're going to so what we're going to do is we're going to highlight so we're going to change that FD0 to SDC and that's going to be dependent on where you uh, on on what your system and how it mounts your USB drives if assuming you're using a USB uh, floppy drive like I am okay and I'm calling this win 98 floppy dot IMG and space CO uh, space count COUNT equals one so that's one block and BS equals that's basic size I guess is what that stands for 1440 K 1440 kilobytes that's how big uh, the image is going to be and that's how big your that, that's that's the size of your uh, floppy disk I'll go ahead and hit enter it's going to ask me for my administrator password And now it's copying. And what that's gonna, what that command does is it takes a snapshot of your floppy drive, the disk that's in it, and it creates an image, and it's gonna put that image in your home directory when it's done. And I'll show you when it's done. Now once you have that image made. You can use a, uh, you can use in Linux anyway. You can use a program called VirtualBox, uh, and you can actually mount the image in VirtualBox, and you can see what's on your uh, what's on your hard drive. There are other third-party uh, third-party programs that, uh, for Windows that will read floppy drives and will write floppy drives, and you can even uh, you can even copy it over to a USB. Maybe that'll be in another video where I actually uh, copy uh, or actually write the floppy image over to a USB stick. So my floppy drive is finished clicking and whirring and I'll go ahead and open up my home folder and this is my home folder. I'll go ahead and drag it down here into the recording window and there it is win98floppy.img so I'm going to close that out and that's how you make a with a very uh, one line uh, terminal command that's how you can make a floppy image that's how you can image a floppy disk using Linux this is BR1255 and thanks for watching